Do you want to discover the secret items that can turn you into a millionaire? Well, you've come to the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to be revealing my top eight items that have the power to transform your life and set you on the path to financial freedom. So grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper and let's get this video started. Right, first things first, before you say anything, no, these aren't your typical gadgets, nor is this some type of get rich quick scheme. And for the record, this video hasn't been endorsed or sponsored by any of the products I'm going to be talking about. They are, however, legitimately the items I personally used to help me build multiple seven figure businesses and make me a millionaire by the time I reach 30. So trust me, when I say that if you utilize these items properly, you too can achieve the same level of success. So for the sake of this video, I've split these items into three groups. Group number one, recovery and sleep optimization. Group number two, technology and habit building. Group three, and this is my personal favorite, so make sure you stick around for this one, cognitive enhancement and supplementation. So number one is nasal strips and eye masks. So specifically, these are the nasal strips from Breathe Right. Now these allow you to actually breathe through your nose from when you're asleep, not through your mouth. This allows you to actually improve your recovery. So when you wake up the next day, you feel more refreshed. If you also have issues in terms of having high blood pressure, this reduces your blood pressure because it allows you to get more nitric oxide production coming through your nasal cavity. The second thing is the eye mask from uh, Manta Sleep Mask, which is huge in terms of making sure you're actually getting complete darkness when you're asleep, so you can get to a deeper sleep and improve your quality. If you also travel a lot, this is something huge I use a lot in the airplane, also combined with a sleep mask, and then some, one of the other things I'm gonna come on to later on in this video, which will help improving think from a travel aspect in terms of recovery. Number two is caffeine. So I love caffeine. So we have three different variations of caffeine I have. We have pre-workouts, energy drinks, and an actual normal black coffee. So in terms of order, obviously we'd have a black coffee when I first get up in the morning, I'd have one to two of those, and then I'll go and train and I'll have a pre-workout. If later in the day, like before recording this podcast, I had a sugar-free Red Bull, um, but I also have things like rain energy drink. So these are something you can do to keep your uh, cognitive function up and your focus up throughout the day, in particular if you feel that you're lagging. Huge thing with caffeine though, is try not to have it too late on the day because that's gonna affect your sleep negatively. In terms of how much caffeine you should max out at, I personally can go pretty high to 800 to 1,000 milligrams a day, but for most people, you want probably four to 600. Most pre-workouts like this, like 250 to 300 milligrams. So see what your tolerance is, but don't be afraid to have too much because you like for you statistically to actually die from caffeine, you'd, you'd drown by drinking 20 liters of energy drinks before the caffeine would kill you. So don't worry about dying from caffeine. So something else I'm a huge believer in, so number three is journals and diaries, and also having a decent pen. So what I would recommend is you do is you get an expensive notebook, that's a moleskin one. This is a seven figure scaling system one. If you come to our events, you get one of these for free. Um, and I would use an expensive, decent notebook and have a decent pen. So this is a Cartier gold pen, because when you're actually writing with decent things, it actually means you're gonna take care of what you're writing. So you're not just scribbling random stuff. So for example, in here, I'm very concise in terms of what I wanna write and everything is very thoughtful because I know the notebook's expensive, I know the pen's expensive, and you put quality into everything you're doing. One of the best ways if you're an entrepreneur in terms of stimulate your brain is actually pen to paper and just writing ideas down because it allows creativity to come. One of the best things you can actually do to improve brain function as well first thing in the morning is to actually write in like cursive or like joint up handwriting. So that's one of the things I'll do first thing in the morning is I'll write down what it is I want to achieve that day in my terrible dyslexic joint up handwriting which then allows your brain to start to get more stimulated and gets your brain firing. Number four is a Kindle. This is an absolute game changer. And I was so reluctant to get from one of these about two years ago. And one of my friends, Adam Powell, was a big proponent of pushing me to do this. I, when I moved to Dubai from the UK, I had to get rid of maybe 500 books because I wasn't gonna ship them. Now, with this Kindle, I can have any book in the world that I want right now, and I can literally go and buy it straight away. So if you travel a lot, one of the problems I had before is my bags would weigh so much because I was carrying so many books everywhere. Now, the reality is with the beauty with this, I can have any book I want whenever. And also the beauty of it is you can make highlights and notes that you can refer back to in a split second and instant. And this is where you've literally got the entire world's library in your pocket or in your bag. So if you want to be an entrepreneur who's constantly learning, then one of the things you need to be doing is actually reading every single day. And the Kindle is the best tool you can do to do this because you can literally get any book you want on a whim, download it. And it also comes up with great suggestions of books that you'll probably like based upon what you're currently reading. Number five is your iPad for learning and using the Day One Diaries app. 
So this is an app I use specifically for journaling every single day. I ask myself questions in terms of business perspective, personal perspective. I also have a section where I ask myself a weekly accountability questions in terms of almost coaching myself in my own business. So on here, I can literally go through and I can add in, I have a template of questions I answer every week, but I can go through and I can review previous weeks. Now, this is really important because it allows me to actually reflect on what's working in the business, what's not working in the business, and what's the number one thing I actually need to focus on improving. And this is the reason why so many people watching this video right now are struggling, and probably you, is because you're not focusing on fixing the right thing, which is if you're not reflecting on what's going well within the business and what's not, and what's the number one problem you need to fix, then you're never gonna move anywhere. So using the iPad and the Day One Journal app is very, very good. The second thing I use this for is for learning. So I use my iPad to watch videos on YouTube. I use them for parts of courses I'm in because when you're on your phone, it's very easy to get distracted and same on a MacBook into Slack, WhatsApp, Instagram, email. You go on like the doom scroll of roulette between all of them. And this is a huge thing we need to try and stop doing if we wanna keep learning and keep leveling up. Number six, now these are Bose noise canceling headphones. These are phenomenally good for when I'm basically doing deep work first thing in the morning and I don't want to have any distractions or hear anything. It allows me to be laser focused. So what I'll do is I'll put these on and now I can't hear anything. Literally nothing, they're not even turned on. And what I'll do is I'll have like things like classical music on. Sometimes I have just like um, viral beats in terms of allowing me to actually have my brain focused in, but I make sure I'm not listening to things with words because that can become a distraction. So this is a huge thing I would use in terms of for you when you have to do really concentrated work that allows you to be laser focused. The other time these are really useful is on sales calls, because again, you're focused in on the call. You're not hearing anything around you. And I give a great example of this. I remember being in Mexico, um, taking us being I think, on a Zoom call or something. My girlfriend was like outside the hotel room trying to get in. I literally couldn't hear anything to the point where it sounded like someone kicked the door through with a bang on the door so loud and I eventually heard. And that's how strong these headphones are. You literally can't hear anything. The other time these can be advantageous is also when you're trying to sleep on an airplane because it gets rid of the humming noise. So one of the things if you want to be a high level entrepreneur is your ability to be laser focused and being able to control what you can hear. This has a huge impact in terms of increasing your productivity and allowing you to be more focused on the task you're trying to like knock off the list and move forwards with. Number seven, so this is a DJI Osmo. Now this is a gadget I got recently uh, and it's pretty cool in terms of little camera here, shoot super high quality and what this does, which is phenomenally good, is this has face tracking. So I can literally put this on selfie mode right now. I can put this on face tracking and this will literally just track my face and I can move this around and the whole thing will, the gimbal will move. So if you're an online trainer and you're training, stuff, training in the gym and you wanna film your content, you could film a YouTube video by just like sticking this on a tripod and the camera will literally follow you around. You can also use this for reels and it will track you and you simply just flick the button here and you can put it between portrait to landscape. Super, super easy camera to use, in particular if you're slightly technology retarded with camera equipment like I am sometimes. You've probably seen some videos I've filmed out of focus. This pretty much auto focuses almost as easy as iPhone. So if you're serious about making content, this is one thing I would definitely recommend you get. Number eight, so this is a DSLR camera. So this is a Sony A6400. Now the previous camera, the DJI Osmo, is something I would use a lot for vlogging and filming myself because it's very awkward to walk around with that. Also, when you live in Dubai, you can't really walk around a shopping mall with a camera out like this because they will kick you out the shopping mall and you're not allowed to film. Whereas with the DJI Osmos, they're pretty small. So if you're gonna go into a restaurant or something like that, you look a bit less like a weirdo than if you've got a huge DSLR camera and you've got the microphones on top and things like this. So this I would use for a lot more intense filming, like if you were at events or filming a video like this. Um, so that is something I would definitely recommend in terms of higher quality production value. Um, combined with the DJI Osmo. I actually have three of these, so we can do multi-camera angles for podcasts. Um, I wouldn't say you need to go to that extent, but having decent quality DSLR camera will allow you to make higher level content. And also if you wanna take high quality photos, you can get great depth of field on these and they're very, very sharp. So I say the best to last. So this final segment is in regards to supplementation and how to improve cognitive function. 
And two things I'm gonna go through right now. Number one is Lion's Mane. So this is a supplement that I would recommend you take a thousand milligrams of first thing in the morning when you get up. Um, so the main thing Lion's Mane does, it increases neural speed, so it allows your brain to fire faster. Uh, this is an adaptogen, it also has some health benefits. Very easy to buy, you can get this pretty much on Amazon or anywhere else. The second supplement I'm gonna talk about, which we have got a full in-depth video coming out on, is Modafinil. This one is specifically Rapofil uh, 200. So Modafinil, if you've ever seen the film Limitless, is the brain drug, which basically makes uh, Bradley Cooper superhuman. So this, they come in 200 milligram tablets. The way I would recommend you take this if you decide you want to, is you take 100 milligrams, so half of one, I split and I do it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday because they have a long half-life, so they tend to eat into the next day. These can also be used as antidepressants, sometimes get prescribed for that, so you have to be careful not taking too many of these. Uh, I once took them for three weeks solid and I noticed it hammered my serotonin and dopamine levels when I tried to stop taking them. So this is something I'd recommend that all the top level entrepreneurs you know of are all doing. And a lot of them are doing stronger things than this, even things like Adderall. Um, and the big thing that modafinil does, it increases the state of arousal and motor function in the brain. So it allows you to be super like locked in on tasks and actually see things through and get them finished. And you just feel like you have a huge amount more energy. In particular, if anyone was on a really severe diet, this is the type of thing that works very well to keep you locked on task. But also it has a benefit in terms it tends to crush your hunger levels a little bit. So there you have it, my top 10 items that made me a millionaire, but remember, the only reason these items made me successful is because I utilized them to enhance my performance. It's very easy to let some of these items become a distraction. You can piss around and spend 90 minutes doing a morning routine and not doing your work. But the most important thing to remember is these are a tool that you can use your advantage. So don't let them consume you, just let them give you an advantage. So if you liked this video and took value from the information I shared today, then go ahead and hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. There's tons more videos just like this one here. So we'll see you in the next one.